It's extra satisfying to win a fight where a fighter is talking a lot of crap about you, saying things that he know he's not going to mean after you knock him out. I let my hands do the talking. Two undefeated fighters in their prime battling for a belt. This is prize fighting at its best. Jermall Charlo, undefeated, and the undefeated challenger, Julian Williams. Oh, another oh. one, two! What a counter! Face first, one, face first! Oh. Five, six! Houston, you six. definitely do not have a problem when it comes to Jamal, the hitman Charlo. What a statement made in this fight. I went into that fight wanting to knock him out. He threw a one-two punch combination, and I fired the same exact shot that I was supposed to fire, that Ronnie wanted me to fire, and I shot it. He couldn't take it. He stepped in so perfect. If you look, I caught both punches with one hand. I planted my feet, I shot the shot. It was exactly how Ronnie drew it up. <laughs> We worked on that combination for like two months. The way Julian Williams was throwing the right hand and leaving his head down, you know, I figured he'd be there for an uppercut. And I came back to the corner before that round, and I told Ronnie, look, I'm going to wait to throw that punch. I'm going to wait. No, Ronnie said, the uppercut is there. He's stepping in just like you need him to. Throw it. You tried it in the first round, and it didn't work. You tried it in the second round, and it didn't work. Tried again late in the fourth round. Went back to the corner like, maybe it's not the time to throw it right now. I need to get him to bite on it a little bit more. I said, look, you keep throwing it. I don't care. Don't think about it. Just let it go when it happens. It's going to happen. And it did. My instincts took me there. The shot landed. I threw the punch just right. I didn't feel it. Like, that shot hurt him. I knew the shot hurt him. He was done.